In today's uh, short video, I will uh, discuss the precautionary actions to be observed when vessels are navigating in sea regions which are prone to ice. When navigating in the ice region, it should be noted that the navigation marks may have been removed without warning in coastal areas threatened by ice. No attempt should be made to enter a region of thick ice in a ship which is not strengthened for navigation in ice as in ice class ships or ice breakers. The thickness and concentration of ice should be estimated and assessment should be made whether the ship can safely pass through it. The thickness and concentration of ice can be received from coast stations and other vessels in the vicinity. There is no method on board the ship to calculate it correct. The pressure areas that is hummocks and rafting should be avoided. Hummocks is pressurized with topography consisting of numerous mounds or hillocks. Rafting takes place as one piece of ice overrides another under pressure. Whenever possible, the leads used by previous ships should be used. The ice should be entered on the lee side of practical because the draft of the ship is more than the drift of the ice. When entering the ice pack, it should be entered at right angle to the edge of the ice to avoid any damage to the hull, propeller or rudder. When entering the ice pack, speed should be reduced to minimum maneuvering level. But after the bow has contacted the ice, RPM of the main engine should be increased as to maintain the heading and be able to maneuver the ship. However, when there is a patch of open water, the RPM should be decreased again in order to prepare the vessel for entering the next ice pack. As far as possible, stern and movements should be avoided because such movements will attract the ice flows towards the propeller and rudder, thus damaging the propulsion and machineries of the vessel. Fenders should be ready for use when negotiating sharp turns in the lead. Thanks and I'll see you soon with my next video. Bye guys.